Hi, this is Denise Taylor, and I want to talk to you about personal branding. Now, Jeff Bezos from the founder of Amazon said that personal branding, your, well, he said that your brand is what people say about you when, when you're not in the room. And do you know what people say about you? You know, branding is not something that's just for big companies or people running their own businesses. It's important for you. It's important for any of us who are looking to get a new job and who want to be successful in their career. And one of the first things you want to do is to think about, but, but what is it that I want to be known for? What is it that makes me stand out from everybody else? Whether you're a marketing director, whether you're a finance officer, whether you're a graduate looking for your first job, you really need to understand what is it about you that makes you stand out? And a good place to start is to ask people, ask people, you know, what words do they use to describe you? What are the first things they think about when they think about you? If you're currently in work, how do you compare to other people doing your job? You know, you might not like the answers that people give you, but we need to know this information. And if we don't like the image that we're being seen as, then we need to do something about it. And that's something that we can plan to do over time. So questions that you might like to think about is, as I said, you know, what do people describe me? How do people describe me? Um, and then start to think about, well, am I happy in the organisation I'm working for? Would I rather be working in a different sorts of organisation? Be really clear about the sort of organisation that you want to work for and be clear about what is it that you like to do? You know, we're more than just our job. What is it about our job that really excites us? And it is so important that we understand about how we differ from other people doing the sort of job. And you want to get it all together in a sort of phrase um, that's easy to describe to other people. And when I was working with some, some young graduates recently, with the example that I gave was, you know, like, I'm an English graduate from London University. You know, I love to write. I'm planning on writing a book to boost self-esteem amongst teenagers. And I'm known for being organised. I'm known for being creative and self-motivated. Now, that is great because that is a great introduction whenever you meet somebody. It can be used as an opening to a CV. It can be used to interview. It can be used in a cover letter. It can be used on social networking sites. So personal branding, you know, it's starting at a very simple level, just being clear about what is it that you want to be known for. And then checking out that whatever you want to be known for is how you're seen by other people. And that's why personal branding and social media, they go together so well. And you want to check out, are you digitally distinct? And there's a great sort of um, questionnaire that you can you can you can do online. And that's going to let you understand whether you know, you actually have a digital identity. If anybody searches for you, do they know who you are? Can they find you? Or, God forbid, you know, as there's some negative stuff that's going to come up. So I hope this has been useful, just getting me thinking about social media and personal branding just at a very opening level. And my name's Denise Taylor. My company's Amazing People. And I've written seven career books, including how to get a job in a recession. And I think it's 12 e-books, including how to use LinkedIn to find a new job. So all the very best. And I hope you find it helpful.